Meteorologist Becky Taylor. Welcome back. We are starting off pretty quiet this morning. We're still dry in Junction City. That's a look out of that camera right now. Looking back off to the east this morning, and they've got another look out of our West Topeka camera too. I-70, you can see traffic moving right along there this morning. That'll start to really pick up here in the next 30 minutes to an hour, though. And we're still dark, but we've got cloudy skies this morning too, and temperatures ranging from those upper 40s into the middle 50s, the further east that you get today. So we're at 56 degrees in Topeka, 54 in Emporia, down to 50 degrees, though, in Manhattan, 48 in Mary's. Clay Center and we're at 50 degrees in Concordia too and that's all thanks to our different wind direction. So the winds in our northwestern counties are out of the north and east all thanks to the stationary front that's going to be kind of parked right over the top of us for the next day and we've got those winds out of the south and east right out ahead of it running about 5 to 10 miles per hour giving us those slightly warmer temperatures this morning. So we'll take a closer look at your future winds starting this at 7 a.m. We've got that stationary front here uh, keeping us a little bit cooler in our northwestern counties today but we've got those winds increasing out of the south and east today, becoming a little bit breezy for our southern half of the area and the eastern half of the area too. But by the time we get to tomorrow morning, that low pressure system finally makes its way towards us. We've got that stationary front changing over into a warm front, lifting off to the north, and then we've got a cold front coming in behind it. By the time we get to tomorrow evening, winds will be mainly out of the north and west, and they'll be fairly breezy at times throughout the night, Tuesday and into Wednesday. And that's going to scour out our rain chances, make us a little bit more dry heading into Wednesday, and give us some slightly cooler temperatures. So we'll take a look at those starting this morning at 730. A little bit cooler in our northwestern counties today, but we may be able to make it up into the low to mid 60s in our eastern counties with that southeasterly breeze. We'll be in those mid to upper 40s, probably north and west today, and then we'll have slightly cooler temperatures overnight tonight, about the same as what we're dealing with right now, and then we'll have a pretty similar day coming up for Tuesday in terms of our temperatures just a little bit cooler as we start to see that northwesterly breeze kicking on in for all of us coming in later on the evening. So your satellite and radar widespread this morning with the jet stream overlaid on it. You can see We've got that upper level low here that's going to be making its way towards us very slowly until we get to tomorrow when we finally see that cold front coming through. Then we have some light showers that have made their way through as well this morning, pushing off towards the Kansas City Metro. And then we'll start to see more showers creeping on in from the west as we go throughout the rest of this morning and especially into this afternoon and evening. So here's your future check starting this at 7 a.m. We've got some of those light showers that's picking up on, but we will start to see more showers increasing probably by about 10, 11 o'clock especially in our western counties moving to the east as we go throughout the day. Light rain possible in the eastern half of the area, and we may get some moderate rainfall in our western counties. Remember with the last rain, our western counties kind of missed out on some of that rainfall, but this time they're getting the brunt of this one as we get that to move through the area through the overnight hours, eventually seeing some scattered showers possible through the daytime on Tuesday, certainly not as widespread as we're going to see today, and then that'll taper off through the evening on Tuesday as well. So two to three inches possible as we get into our northwestern counties, and that'll taper off to about a half an inch or so the further east that you get. So temperatures will be pretty similar both today and tomorrow. Slightly cooler as we get towards the middle of the week and a couple more slight chances for rain coming up as we close out the work week as well. But by the time we get to Friday, temperatures climbing up into the upper 50s and we should make it into those low to mid 60s by the time we get to the weekend.